in Newburgh, Indiana, as well as the owner of Youth Yoga School. I'm glad you've tuned in today for today's yoga story. So I'm so glad to meet you and do some yoga with you today. Um, how this video is going to work is I'm going to share with you a book. We're going to read the story and then following the story, we're going to go through it kind of page by page and add some yoga poses. So this will be kind of a short video for you to not only get a little story time today, but also a chance to move around. So let's get started. Today's story is appropriate for all ages. I really love the message behind today's story. It's called In My Heart, A Book of Feelings. So In My Heart, A Book of Feelings is so cool because as we turn the pages, you're gonna see the heart change shape. It's so fun. All right, so here we go. In My Heart, A Book of Feelings. My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear, twirl around so fast, I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy. Other times my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I could touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is great. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling, hot and loud. This is when my heart is bad. But other times my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow. It's quiet as a snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching towards the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck. I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is happy. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra! I hop around like a bouncy bunny. This is when my heart feels silly. Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one else can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe in my swing, I can watch the world from above. This is when my heart feels shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? Take a moment and if you're with your mom or dad or grandma or whoever you're watching this video with, just turn to them and tell them how your heart feels. Always. Yeah, our hearts can feel so many amazing emotions, can't they? And sometimes they're really happy and joyful and sometimes, you know, they're not. And that's okay too. But today when we go through our book, let's add some yoga to it, yeah? All right, so the very first page, she talked about feeling like a house. Do you remember that? Okay, it says, my heart is full of feelings, big and small, and sometimes my heart is like a house. Hmm. How could we make our hearts look like a house? Ooh, that's a good one. We could reach our hands up above our head and make a house above our head. I like that. Or we could make a house right here at our heart. Take a big breath in through your nose like you're smelling a flower. And blow it away. Good, nice, good breathing. So my heart is like a house. The next page of the story, what does she say her heart feels like? A big yellow star. This one we're going to stand up for. All right, let's see if we can stand up. Move yourself either to a yoga mat or just on your floor. Stretch your arms out really wide. Maybe make your feet go wide as well. Make your bodies look like a yellow star. 
Take a big breath in, reach those hands wide. Exhale, let your hands fall down. Try it again. Big breath, star breath. Exhale, let it fall. This time our hands are going to reach out. Big breath, reach them up. Now let them fall. Let's go again. Big breath, stretch real wide, and then let them fall. Our heart is like a star. So, so far we've got a house or a house, and we've got a star. Can you make both those poses? A house or a star. Good. All right, let's see what the next page of our book says. So when we look at our book, the next page talked about riding up in an air balloon. You know, one of my favorite breaths is balloon breath. So maybe we come to a squat or onto our knees. We take our hands up big and make a balloon above our head. And then exhale, let it float back down. Big, make a balloon above your head. Exhale, let it float back down. So good. Let's see what the next page says. The next one talks about being angry and wanting to explode. So let's put ourselves in that pain. Hands come into the heart. Rub those hands together. Squatting down in a big ball. We're going to go three, two, one. You're going to jump straight up in the air and explode your body really wide. Okay? Three, two, one. Oh, let's try that again. Rub those hands together. Make them really, really hot. Make them really, really hot. Squat down and look like me. Knees bent. Three, two, one. And you have your volcano. All right, let's see. The next one talks about being um, like a balloon or quiet as a snowfall. It's the, the body's feeling really calm. So let's see if we can make our bodies feel really calm. We've done a star, we've done a balloon. So what if we just did snowflakes? So stretch those feet wide again, just like we did in that star pose. But this time we're going to let them fall really slow and calm. Let's try that again. Reach these hands all the way up. Wiggle your fingers as they come down. Maybe make the snowflakes go out in front. One more time. Reach the hands up. Big breath. Come down like falling snowflakes. I love it. So good. Let's see what the next page says. This one talked about making our heart heal when it feels broken. So, hmm, let's put ourselves in a little bitty ball, hug our knees in tight to our chest, and just make your body feel like it's getting a nice big hug. Now, you might be balancing on your feet like me, or that might be too hard. You might decide that you want to bring your tush down to the floor and just make yourself a hug right here. Stay in this shape for two more breaths. One more breath. All right, let's see what the next page of our book is all about. You guys are doing so good. These are so fun. Ooh, elephant. Remember this one? This is when she was feeling sad and the tears fall like rain, and she feels heavy like an elephant. I'm going to get onto my knees. I'm going to make an elephant trunk with my hands. Big breath. I'm going to sweep up the water and spit it right over my head. So big breath. And spit it out. Maybe you even take your elephant trunk and you swing it a little bit side to side here. How fun is this? Make your elephant trunk move around. Some of you might even decide that you want your elephants to have feet and hands and really move. Oh, oh my goodness, your poses are so awesome. These are so great. Should we see what the next page is? All right, come back, come back. Make sure you're listening. All right, here we go. The next page talks about springtime. Ooh, and we're watering flowers. See her watering can? I think that would be a perfect thing to do for this one. Let's water the flowers. So stand up really tall. Give yourself a handle on your water can. Spread your feet a little bit apart. Put your other hand out to the side. Now this hand that's out to the side, see if you can turn those toes to go the same way. So look at my toes. Look at my hand. We want those two to match. Now we're going to reach out to the side and then just pour, pour this water down towards your toes. Like you're watering some flowers growing down there on the earth. Bring your hand back up. Switch sides. Put it over here on this hip. This hand goes out. I'm going to make those toes. Look at your toes. Make them look like this hand. Toes. Hand. Water. The flowers. You got it. Water those flowers down to the side. See how my chest isn't like this. See if you can bring your chest back up. Put this hand on your hip. Water those flowers. Nice work. Bring yourself up nice and tall. Let's see what the book has for us next. 
Oh, this one talks about something being scary and our heart beating really fast. Let's see if we can make a scary creature with our bodies. Just run around just for a moment here. Or maybe make your teeth really scary. Do some big breath. Maybe scare mom or dad or whoever is doing this video with you. I want you to take three more scary breaths. Do it two more times. Oh, you're really scary. Oh, those are such scary breaths. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, let's try this last one. This talks about being abracadabra silly bouncy bunnies. Oh, I know you guys can be silly bouncy bunnies. Maybe you even put some bunny ears on your head and you get a little bounce around. Or maybe you just decide to go on your knees and do a little bouncy like this. Take just a couple more bouncy bouncies and then we're going to breathe like a rabbit. Do you want to do rabbit breath or bunny breath? All right, so I'm going to get a little closer so you can see me. I want you to watch my nose. We're going to take three breaths in through our nose. And then you're going to breathe out. Even though you were wild and crazy with your scary animal and your bouncy bunny, you can take that bunny breath as an easy way to calm us back down. Let's try it again. Good job, friends. The end of the book talks about how our feelings are all over. So I want you to pick your favorite pose that you've done so far with me today in this storybook and demonstrate it. Let's do it again. Maybe pick which one you like the best. Gosh, we've done so many. We had the very first, first pose, if you remember, was our house pose. Some of you just held your hands to your heart. The next one, we made a star. Hmm, we rode in the balloon and did our balloon breath. We exploded out of the volcano. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. I really like that one. This one, what did we do for this one? Oh, we made the snowflakes fall because that was about being calm. This one, we had our broken heart, so we put ourselves in a little ball, we hugged our knees into our chest. Elephants, that one was really fun. Yep, swinging your trunk from side to side. Ooh, this was our watering can. Do you remember that one? Okay. And then, oh, our scary one. <laughs> and then our bunny one. And then we skipped being shy, because, yeah. And this one we did as our last feeling. This was our favorite pose. So again, here is the storybook that we read from today, In My Heart. I know that they have this at our local library. I'm sure they have it at yours as well, as well as you can find this book on Amazon or any other local bookstore retailer near you. So thank you again for tuning into this. Um, make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel if you've been watching. And um, Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Youth Yoga School, as well as Sift Yoga. So we offer Sift Yoga, offers family yoga events um, at our studio, as well as youth yoga events each month. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. We'd love to have your little ones continue to do more yoga with us. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure that you comment below that you enjoyed it. Tell me who you did it with. Maybe even send me a picture of you and your little one enjoying some yoga poses. And um, we'll continue to spread positivity and love throughout our community. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And if you would, just repeat after me. I will be kind to myself. And I will be kind to others. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.